Welcome back, and thanks for joining us on this edition of Extra Butter. Yes. Last week came and went, and we didn't talk about a couple movies. So these uh, are movies that are almost new, but like they're like in the day-old section right. of your box office. No, Brad Pitt is never day-old anything. <laughs> Does he still do it for you? Uh, has he never not done okay, it for okay. me? Okay, what's funny, uh, you could watch the dip in Rotten Tomatoes. When Ed Astro <laughs> was to come out, audiences were looking forward to it. It's not scoring that well. I don't think they leaned into it that hardcore. It's, it's, it's a little slow starting off. I mean, right? It's about takes about an hour to get into the laser blast on Ma on uh, the, the moon, and it's a, it's a little slow. It's somewhere it between slower. gravity and interstellar. Yeah, is that's that a good call. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's interesting because it's kind of like a man who you want to see be emotionally charged, and he's not, and then in the movie, as it progresses, you get to see him be more attached to his dad. I don't know. It's just a lot of emotion that's yeah. not there, but it is there. And I just love Brad Pitt. It's it, a beautiful movie, though. You have to admit. It, especially if you think Brad Pitt's beautiful. It's uh, it in should space. be compelling, but isn't. And much there can be. There you go. I was this, trying to say that. <laughs> the same can be said of this publicity stunt they did, where they actually had Brad Pitt interview an astronaut in space. Oh. Now, how cool should that be, right? Right. It right. should. Oh no. Right. It's like Brad. watching paint dry. Oh. Astronaut like, movies are Brad tough. Going, so, did you like the movie? <laughs> the astronaut. <laughs> More or less. Take a look. It, it really is extraordinary. By the way, you're from Kansas. I'm from Missouri, so we're neighbors. It's a good part of the country. I've taken lots of photos of it over the uh, the past six months. Ah, uh, I bet. Amazing. Nick, last question, and I I need to call on your expertise. Who is more believable, Clooney or Pitt? <laughs> you were, absolutely. Anybody think that maybe that astronaut really wanted to say Clooney was a better yes. astronaut? Yes. Thought, I don't want to be rude. Probably so, but you can't say that when you're talking to the man. What do you think went wrong with this movie? Astronaut movies are tough. They are always climbing up an uphill battle. Yeah. Even the old school movie, 2001, Space Odyssey was kind of a sleeper. Yeah. We need aliens, we need lasers, we need I'm Darth Vader, we need you. Spock. <laughs> hey, but appreciate how beautiful the movie is, right? The whole time you were watching it, were I you I felt thinking? like I was watching a screensaver. Oh, that's so <laughs> mean. The whole time I was thinking, <laughs> how did they make this? And Brad Pitt. That, so I think you have Brad Pitt blockage. You're watching it through the wrong lenses. <laughs> I was going to say something, but we'll move on. All right, all right. So uh, make sure you take a big boatload of popcorn and a boatload of patience if you go to see Ed Astra.